All right, wires. All right. We're gonna need kind of a lot of wire because every solar panel has to have wire that goes down to the back and minimum 12 gauge wire. I think I'd rather have 10 gauge. All right, I've got the mess of stuff I pulled off the boat. Some of that I'll want to use, but I'm going to want to make this a pretty nice wiring job. So um, I also pulled out some, this is 10 gauge and that's 10 gauge. These are 12, I'll probably stick with the 10s. And then all under here, <laughs> this entire area under here is just wires. Anytime I come across uh, leftover wire that people are giving away or selling cheap, I take it. So I have a lot of wire. And a lot of it is just like, you know, not that big pieces and stuff. It's just a variety of all kinds of stuff. Nah, I didn't find any black 10 gauge wire. However, red and white is fine. You can just use white as the, you know, the the negative, which would normally be black, and then the red would be the positive. I could just go with 12 gauge. I've got some really nice rolls of 12 gauge there. And I did some quick calculations. With 12 gauge wire, I'll lose roughly half a volt between the solar panels and you know, the, the motor or the batteries, wherever they're going. Well, half a volt at the max, like the furthest ones. And with 12, with, no, with 10 gauge wire, which is thicker, I'll lose, I don't know, like 0.3 volts. So I'm not really losing that much either way. I'm also going to give each solar panel its own blocking diode. And I don't think those solar panels even really need it. They might even have blocking diodes kind of built into them. Either way though, it's just an extra safety thing to make sure that electricity doesn't go from one solar panel into another one. Because the electricity has got to come from the solar panels into the motor. But uh, if one solar panel is in the shade and another one that's connected with it is in the sun, then the sun one might push energy into the shaded one and could damage it. So this will make sure that never happens. I need six of these and I've got 12, so great. And these are one of those things I bought online really cheap when they were surplus. I've had them for like eight years, six years. I don't know, I've had them for years though. Okay, where are the wires even gonna go? Well, these ones are sticking out. Now they start right around where this pivot point is. So basically the wires need to follow this arm and come down. I mean, basically just what they're doing right now. Um, Cause that way, as long as this, as long as they're following where, where these joints are, the solar panels can move everywhere they go. And the wires will just bend here, go along there and then bend there and come inside. And it looks like the solar panels have enough length on their wires that I can just maybe just drill a couple holes in here maybe just on this side of this thing and they can come right inside and then I can do all connections in here oh huh. what do you think good do you even know what I just said <laughs> I think I'm just going to use these wires to come right inside and then I'll connect things to the wires after they're under here. So that means I just need to drill two appropriate holes up here, or maybe I can put them over here a little bit. I don't know, somewhere around here and just bring them in. So I can do that to all six panels, get all the wires coming inside and then, then next, then out. So is there any problem with that? I think it'll be fine. Those wires coming out of the solar panels have really thick plastic coating. So I shouldn't have to worry about them rubbing against the, you know, the edge of the hole and wearing through. Um, I want to make sure that where I put the holes and put the wires through, they don't leak. So 
I'll just silicone around the wires, around the hole, so that should be fine. Mm, I think those wires will be flexible enough to, I mean, they don't have to do that much bending, as long as I keep them a little bit loose above. Yeah, I think, I think that'll be fine. All right, well, those are pretty easy to pull in. Got those ones under there. And right there. Yeah. I got all six done. Now, when I put the solar panels in, I wasn't really paying attention to the orientation of the panels. And if I was, uh, I would have put these two the same way because the wires come close to each other and those two are going to be connected to each other. But that back one, <laughs> The wires all the way at the back, I would have flipped it to this end, and then this whole side I would have reversed them all. So, by not paying attention at all, two out of six are in the orientation that I would prefer. Although, it doesn't really matter. I'll just have to run my wires a little bit longer over here. It's not a big deal. Alright. I think I still want to use this big Frankenstein switch. I'll have to take it apart and clean it up a little. But it's always been trusty, never let me down, so I'm gonna keep using it. It's just a, you know, like a big old, old science class kind of copper switch. It's made out of copper pipes. Well, I got all the wires off it. Man, that's a cool switch. So the way it works is it's got these two big copper things and it moves forward and it touches these two and that would be the low speed and then medium speed it touches the next connect contact and then full speed touches the last one and the way i had this set up previously was when this touched the first thing some of the solar panels would connect to the motor when i touched the second one more of the solar panels <coughs> would connect to the motor and then when i connected full power that connected the batteries to the motor. So that would be the maximum power I could get out of the motor. And then I had some wires crisscross so that when this went into this position, it reversed. And I'll probably keep reverse. It's useful to have reverse. And right now, everything looks really dirty, like corroded. Like this is all copper. All these are copper. So I think I'm going to take these pieces off one at a time, scrub them, <laughs> you know, clean them off, put it all back together, and then it should be nice and shiny and all right. The contacts will be a lot better if they're clean. Oh, oh that side's looking pretty good. Good enough. Right. Whoa, now that is a big difference. You might be wondering how this got so corroded. Well, it got splashed with seawater. Even though it was inside the boat in a pretty protected spot, I was going through a storm and there was like ocean wave water coming in sideways. It was pretty crazy. Anyway, it's got salt water all over it. Where are my nuts? Where are my nuts for this? Come on, where did my nuts go? Well, oh, that took hours. Okay. So, the way this silly switch works, 
I've got three speeds forward because these will touch here first and then they'll touch the next contacts and then the third contacts. And then reverse is over here. I only have one speed in reverse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect two solar panels. Well, let me start with the motor. First, I'm going to connect the motor positive and negative to here. So that's going to go to the motor. So anything that, that gets into this is going to get to the motor. And then I'm going to connect two solar panels in parallel to here, the positive and negative of those two solar panels. So when I go forward a little bit, it'll connect two solar panels. And then I'll connect another two solar panels to these, these connectors. So if I get to there, I'll have four solar panels connected to the motor. And then, well, I guess right now, I'll just connect the last two solar panels to that last one. So that'll be six solar panels connected when I go full speed. However, at some point soon, I'm going to get batteries. And then the batteries will be connected here with whatever kind of speed control I have. So low speed, connect two solar panels, connect four solar panels, and then connected batteries. And when I'm connected to the batteries, I'll be able to go the fastest. And the way I did this before with the reverse is I just made the reverse connected to the batteries, except it was, you know, the wires were crossed so that when you went this way, the, the voltage was reversed. So it would go, go in reverse. So I had no reverse if I wasn't using the batteries. Um, however, the batteries always work, but the sun only sometimes works. So I figured that would be good to use for the reverse. So I guess that's probably how I'm going to connect it again. So right now I'll just connect these to the last two solar panels. And when I get the batteries, the two solar panels connected here will charge the batteries that are then connected to here, but not directly connected. They'll go through some kind of speed control thing. All right, let's go take this Frankenstein switch outside and see where it connects on the boat. I don't know where it's going to go. Here's the boat, though. Somewhere on the boat where I can reach it easily. Man, I love this boat. This is a good-looking boat. It's going to be even better when, I had, uh, when it gets a paint job. Okay. Oh, you know what just happened yesterday? Something with seats. I'm going to get... I'm going to get some really nice seats for this boat. Uh, a guy, oh, I forgot his name now. I think it was Paul. Oh, I think it was Paul. If it wasn't Paul, I'm sorry. I think his name was Paul. <laughs> anyway, a guy who watches my videos, he saw that on my Amazon wish list, which is, you know, always in the description of my videos, had seats for the boat on it. And he wrote the company that makes the seats that I had on there and asked them, if he bought me one, would they send me a second one for free? If I, you know, show it on video and then he asked me about it. And I was like, yeah. So I think I have two seats coming, which is amazing. Like, like nice squishy seats, comfortable seats, like seats for like, uh, like a tractor, like, you know, like squishy tractor seats. Not, not like, not like hard steel ones, like, 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 like squishy ones. Very excited about that. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna basically sit right here-ish, and I want I want my switch to be somewhere easily accessible. It can't be there, it's gonna get in the way of that string. <laughs> you just put it right there, except, wow, what do you think about, oh wait, I could put it right there, and then I could, I could sit, I could reach it from, this side or from that side. Well, that, that might be the best idea ever. Except I don't know if I want to attach it to the pedal thing because the whole pedal thing comes out. So maybe, maybe I'll have a thing that's attached here that comes up and attach it there. Oh, that, that is a great idea. Oh, totally. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, that's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so. That means I'll be able to sit here. Let's see where my pedal is going. Yeah. Sit right about here. You have to move over a bit, dude, though. Uh, I can sit here on my nice, fancy tractor seats that are squishy. I can control my thing right here, do my pedals, my steering, 
Oh, this is, this is beauty. I love it. Oh, this is going to be great. This is going to be so good. All right, is that going to be amazing or what? Hey, don't don't fall in the water, Cardano. Stop! We're uh, currently low tide, and the boat is just on the dirt, so we're, the pedals aren't even, or the paddles aren't even in the water. However, with this, with the weight of the solar panels up there, and the weight of the motor, now the oh, now the paddle wheel does work because you know before I put the weight of that stuff on, the boat was floating so high that. <laughs> The paddle wheel wasn't even hitting the water, uh, but now it's good. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna be good. Okay, I want to mount it right there. I think that'll work. It'll that will extend the length of some of the wires a little bit, but not even that bad actually. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Reverse, forward, reverse. It's just riveted a couple times in here and then I just riveted it up here. I know this whole pedal thing is removable and at some point I may wanna have this not riveted to there. But, you know, if that happens at some point in the future I can replace the rivets with a bolt thing or something but i suspect it's going to stay just like this for quite some time so i'm not going to worry about it for now yeah that's great all right i've got all the froms and the twos so now i just need to connect the wires from the solar panels to the switch from the switch to the motor and i want to put those blocking diodes in between the solar panels and the, the switch I think I'm not going to do that today though. It's almost four o'clock and I was just talking with my kids um, saying I feel like I, I, I need to I need a bit of a rest. I'm gonna have to take a day off and just chill out tomorrow and then they were like "Ooh, let's play pirates. So we'll see. <laughs> I don't know there's so much stuff I want to do but I do I am feeling a little bit uh, a little bit worn out like I should take a rest and and chill out for a day. Or half a day, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a day today, and get clean and go make some dinner. <laughs>